Hello, you're looking at my 2010 Toyota Camry and today I'm going to show you how I test the coolant using a coolant test strip. So these uh, coolant test strips come in a little plastic bottle and there's 50 test strips inside uh, this bottle and I'm going to use one of those test strips today. So open up the bonnet and there's the uh, engine bay of, uh, of the car and over here on the left hand side is the coolant overflow bottle. So there's one of the uh, coolant test strips and I'm just going to hold that with a pair of long nose pliers to help me reach down into the bottle and get the coolant. Pop off the lid, push in the test strip and uh, not quite deep enough so I'll have to get a different grip on the uh, test strip. So there we go, I've got a different grip now on the coolant test strip and I'm going to dip it down into the into the bottle and pull it out, just leave it in for one second, that's all you need and yes, I've got the, you can see the little shiny bit of uh, coolant on the bottom of that test strip. Okay, make sure you push that little black lid, push it back home so it's nice and uh, tight back in the proper uh, position. So you have to wait at least uh, 15 seconds before you start uh, comparing that test strip to the colour chart on the back of the uh, test strip bottle. And you can see there on the uh, bottom strip that's matching up nicely with the uh, with the 60%. Matches up nicely there with that 60% uh, glycol, so that's the maximum freeze point, maximum boil, boil point at 15%. PSI pressure cap. So that looks pretty good for the uh, uh, boil and freeze uh, component of the coolant. And then the second, uh, the green there, the second one on the coolant test strip, that matches up to the acid corrosion protection. And it's a little bit um, probably in between those two greens, I suppose. So it's still in the okay range. So that's, uh, that's all looking uh, pretty, pretty good. Obviously, if you are using one of these uh, coolant test strips, then you best to read all the instructions on the back of the bottle before you use it. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, Castrol coolant test strips in action. That's a great way to test your coolant um, and know whether it needs replacing or not. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.